Well, welcome back. It's still the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. Well, Nigeria's largest city, uh, Lagos, has been facing what some describe as a housing crisis for some years now, with affordable housing uh, posing a considerable challenge for many residents of Nigeria's mega city. Now, more than 500,000 people move to the city of Lagos every year, with an estimated population of 23 million uh, household size of 4.9 people per household, and uh, a housing stock of 1.49 million units. That's 1.49 million houses. Lagos has not been able to meet up, if you look at those stats and you crunch the numbers, uh, to 50% of her formal housing demand till date. Now, with these numbers painting the true picture of Lagos housing deficit, now, the question will always be, how can the housing deficit in Lagos be reduced? We have joining us to discuss this, uh, Mr. Toby Nisson Adegboyega, who is the chief Executive Officer of Echo Shortlets. So, Toby Miso Adegoya, good morning to you. Good Thank morning, Kofi. Hi, it's there. Thank you Fantastic. very much. It's not been here today. Yes, yes. We'll, we'll talk about a shortlet uh, business yes. in a bit because sure. I'm really, really interested in that. <laughs> but let's look at the housing gap in Lagos. Yeah. It's, it's quite a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is a major problem that I think um, the government um, could do a lot more with uh, making housing very accessible to the average man in Lagos. So it's quite a big problem. I mean, one of the issues, if you look at uh, why housing is not accessible to uh, residents of Lagos is, yeah. uh, is the cost. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you look at, okay, a one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedroom, yeah. it costs a lot. So f for me, as, as, as a person, I sincerely feel the cost of housing in Lagos is a bit over the hook. So for instance, you want a good one bedroom um, in Lekki Phase 1, you're looking at nothing less than three million naira. You want a three bedroom in Lekki when you're looking at six million, seven point five million. Now, how many average Lagosians can afford such? Um, and again, you can't blame um, um, the developers as such because the cost of building materials, um, the licenses and um, approvals from Lagos State government, it's a all rigorous process. So, and for them, um, it's about cash. They just want to finish building, make their cash, and leave the table. So, um, like I said earlier on, it's something that I think the government can do a lot more in um, making housing affordable. So, back then, you had Jack on the House in the States. Like, every, almost everybody in Lagos could afford Jack on the House in the States. Because, but right now, whatever the government is doing, like places like LSDP, State and all of that, the prices are, <laughs> it's not something that anybody can just afford as such. So, yeah, it's... Mm. So, so you're saying the regulatory bottlenecks are part it's, of... It's a major, it's a major problem. So, some people feel that uh, the, the, the agents, you know, are also part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Your colleagues are also part of the problem. Because you, you want to rent a, a, a typical property, maybe on the island. Yeah. You're paying the rent. Mm. You're paying uh, a legal fee. Of course. You're, you're paying, paying agency, agency fee, fee. You're paying a caution, uh, caution fee. fee. You're paying one commission or the other. And then you're paying service charge. You're paying service charge. I moved to Lagos from Port Harcourt. I'm still mm. in Port Harcourt. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a regular visitor to Lagos. Okay. But I, my base was in PH. Mm. We don't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do all that. And sometimes when you go to the houses where you see, okay, they say service charge, yeah. you ask them, what are you servicing me? So I guess that's why they say Lagos is a commercial city. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot compare a place like Lagos to a place like Port Harcourt mm. or Benin, of course. Port Harcourt is the oil, oil capital of Nigeria. Definitely, no doubt about Lagos yeah. is a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, in terms of those costs, um, I know with the agents, it will be very flexible. Of course, the standard fee is only 10%. Um, some are able to negotiate, so I can only afford the 5%, I can afford the 4%. Now, this is the challenge. You have very few houses available. So there's one property that's opened up, and you have about 10 people in the queue for okay. that property. So it's a law of supply and so, demand. Exactly. Drives up the... Definitely. So the people who pay for those... Exactly. So if I am, I want to get a house, and then you said I have to pay 10% agency fee, and I'm trying to negotiate with you to say, oh, can I pay 4%, and there's someone else on the line who's ready to pay 10%, I'll go with him. How lucrative is a short -led business? Amazing. You, you and the shortlet, you are yeah, the yeah, shortlet, yes. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's a very interesting one, um, very lucrative, but then again, it is very capital intensive. Okay. Very, very capital intensive. Um, just a quick analysis. You want to get a three bedroom now, uh, like if it's one to buy, you're looking like 100 to 120 million to buy it. Now, if you want to rent it, you're looking like 7 to 8 million era. Now, for your interior per design, per year, yes. Just for renting. Just for renting. Okay. Now, if you want to do it, standard interior, for shutter, it will sell images. It's the pictures that catches anyone's attention before they announce, where is this property located and all of that. So, you want to do a beautiful interior design for a three-bedroom, you're going to spend nothing less than 12 to 14 million era. 
So it is very capital intensive. But in the long run, it, it, would, it makes more business sense to put my property on short let than on yearly rental. One of the challenges why there's no house in Lagos. So now yeah. in Lagos, you go to a building where maybe has about 10 flats. And you'd be surprised, everyone in that building, all short lets. Wow. All short lets, wow. everyone. Because as, as a business person, um, with a three bed, if I put it in normal rent in a year, the most I'll make is maybe seven, eight million, and that's it. If I put it up on shortlets, I can make as much as 15 to 18 million in a year. Mm. So, so I don't want to put it on rent. So sh shortlets are actually increasing the house housing deficit. Definitely. But they're improving business. It is, definitely. And it's a veritable investment. Definitely. People put their, put their definitely. money in. In fact, right now, a lot of developers and the lucky access, you see, when they're marketing their property, they'll say it is very viable for shortlets. So uh, we've gotten to that stage where people now market the sales of the properties to you to say it's good for investment purposes for shortlets. Mm. So, of course, that will cause a huge deficit. Right. With we we have to go. We are out of time. Being <laughs> but you give us a lot of information yeah. in this short time. We should have you back. Definitely. Have Please, I'm, 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 I'm That's the size of a package. <laughs> My name is Kofi Bartels, and the news tonight is up next. Thank you very much for your time.